Good morning, everybody. Enhancing participation of special groups of voters in Iraq. The keenness of uh, Iraqi election law on the inclusion of all Iraqis voters to vote and the commission and that the commission since uh, the commission in Iraq since its inception in 2004 is keen to apply the law and put special measures in uh, special measures in a vote of all voters categories and there are certain categories in Iraq voters in Iraqi voters like uh, Iraqis voters uh, abroad representative of the diplomatic corps the vote the vote of the Iraqi security forces and the vote, vote of fallen asleep in hospitals and cadres of hospitals, as well as ghosts of the Iraqi prison terms of less than five years, of less than five years. The concern of the law to vote all these kinds of groups on the, uh, and depend on the basis of the constitutional rights guaranteed by the Iraqi constitution, which was by the referendum in 2005 for all of Iraqi that uh, need to enjoyment of the same basic freedoms. The commission, in addition, to setting the timetable for election and the development of the technical details of the electoral, of the electoral process is educating voters in general on how to exercise their electoral right properly. And the special categories in Iraq are number one, Iraqis vote abroad. According to the Iraqi election law, the Commission has developed procedures vote for the Iraqis voting abroad to ensure the right to vote uh, in the parliamentary election. In the beginning, in 2005, IHEC didn't have, the Commission didn't have more details about these Iraqis who live abroad. So uh, we requested the assistance of the organization of the IOM, IOM organization for the election procedures abroad. But later, in the years 2010 and 2014, IHEC, by its Iraqis employment, to conduct elections abroad, where the number of the countries that have been the Iraqi voting abroad in 2014 amounted to 20 countries from different countries of the world. For the staff of diplomatic missions, the vote, the vo uh, the vote being in the same polling stations uh, of the vote by Iraqis abroad uh, and uh, the polling station chose by the commission outside of the buildings of embassies and, consulate, and consulates. IHEC is developing an integrated educational program to educate voters abroad on how to exercise the voting process to ensure that vote, uh, they vote properly. Number two, Iraqi security forces voting. Iraqi law allowed to the Iraqi security forces to vote. And it conduct the voting process then two days before the day of election. Where these security forces of the army and police to vote in special centers. But the process of the counting the counting and sorting for this category take place later when 
conducting the process of counting and the public to vote. The Commission is also interested in a elaborate scheme to educate security forces around it to vote at polling stations in order to secure their votes image. The plan includes, the plan of education includes lectures to the members of the security forces and the, distri the distribution of the publication and posters in addition, in addition to advertising on the satellite channels. Number three, the staffs in the medical hospitals and patients are asleep in it. The law also authorized for the inpatients in hospitals and personal working in the hospitals, like doctors and nurses, to, vo uh, to vote in the election. In the, in, in the election, where IHEC puts special measures to vote to the knowing that their vote being in the same day as the vote of security forces. And also the commission is keen to prepare an educational plan for this segment in order to make them have good knowledge in how to vote at the special centers to vote. Number four, the staffs of security personnel working in prisons and inmates theirs. The law of election also to be sentencing for enemies or in less than five rule years are eligible to vote in the elections. In addition to security personnel working in a prisons where IHEC has developed special procedure for voting uh, for voting to them and be there vote the same days as the vote of security forces. It means two days before the day of the public voter before. Number five, the staff's works at the polling stations. The staff also, also the staff assigned management centers at the polling stations have the right to vote in the same centers where they work according to a previous set by the electoral governance mechanism and the fact that their votes at the beginning of the opening polling stations and then allows voters to vote. Can vote these categories as they are votes eligible to vote doesn't affect their work at, for uh, the management uh, of the centers and the stations electoral process uh, on their right to vote. The plan of the education laid down by the election administration to the voters of these categories. We mentioned that the law of the Iraqi election allowed voting to these categories. I believe that the legal right alone is not enough. If we are not the voters' detailed knowledge of all the instructions for the electoral process in order to ensure that vote properly and maintain the voting ele electorate. So I put smart plan of the voter education, a process of these categories on several uh, paragraphs take a direct educational lectures uh, and uh, advertisement in satellite channels and publications and educational posters and adver advertisement roads and others. Electoral administration was not satisfied with only this, but to be sure that verification plan educational has best result, IHEC and through educational institution, institute election in Iraq has held several technical workshops to staffs 
of diplomatic as well as for staff working in the field of election and also representatives of various civil society organizations as well as agents and representatives of political parties and candidates in the election and the electoral process as well as the uh, as well as all partners believing in the necessity of the commission informed of these groups on all the details of the electoral process in order to vote in the right way. Iraq today is a democratic country and since 2003 and to the same extent now the Iraqi administration electoral hold more than 10 large electoral process including the referendum process to the Iraqi constitution in 2005. And Iraq staff has gained uh, a community expertise in the field of labor and the elections, where the United Nations High Commission, High Commission, High Commissioner Body provided at the beginning of the inception technical support and the training to Iraq staff. Then these staffs have experience gained through co continuous working and holding the elections. Today I represent the Iraq Electoral Administration in the Arab region, a model of a professional administration, where it was the oldest electoral administration in the Arab region and has a great staff and with extensive experience in the field of wars as well as in the field of education and build electoral capacity through Electoral Education Institute of the Iraqi Electoral Administration. It's worth mentioning that the Iraqi Electoral Administration and based on this status enjoyed by has been involved with the rest of the electoral departments in the Arab resistance sport and with the support of a program by UNDP established Arab organization for electoral administration, which today compress 10 Arab countries as a professional for technical cooperation and exchange of experience between the electoral departments in the Arab region, as well as the cooperation between the organization and other like organization in the world. Thank you.